Hi everyone, it's Jane Atkinson here. I'm the author of The Wealthy Speaker 2.0 and the Epic Keynote. I've been helping professional speakers catapult their careers for more than 20 years, first as an agent for speakers, then as the vice president of a speakers bureau in Dallas, and for the past 10 years as a coach. Today we're going to talk about positioning. It's one of the mysteries of the speaking business, and I see many speakers struggling with it. And even speakers who've been around a while often have to circle back to positioning when they're reinventing. So what do I mean by positioning? It's how you're perceived in the marketplace. It's picking a lane around your topic and it's developing marketing language that allows the buyer to see immediately how you're going to help them. That's the key. So where do we start with this? Well, let's first talk about picking a lane. Why is that even important? Well, let me ask you this question. What topic would you want to be known for five years from now? If you're out speaking on a dozen different topics, then you're likely going to be seen as the jack of all trades rather than the master of one. So imagine I'm a decision maker. I'm hiring a speaker to deliver a presentation on the topic of team building, and I'm considering speaker A versus speaker B. Speaker A has seven different topics listed on their website, ranging from team building to presentation skills and everything in between. Speaker B has written books on team building and speaks only on that topic. Who are you going to trust? More importantly, who are you going to pay more? Hmm, chew on that for a minute. In a sea of options, your goal is to rise above the rest. A great way to do that is to become known for one specialty. So what's the next step? It's positioning as an expert versus a speaker. This further helps establish you in the market and raises your profile. The old way of building a speaker's website was to say, hire me, I'm a speaker. But today, what we'd rather say is, my expertise is this, and this is how I help you solve a problem. We make it about them and not us. So let's go back to our team building expert, for example. Instead of the website saying, need to give your team a boost, hire Pat Smith speaker. We might say, Pat Smith, creating rock solid teams through collaborative communication. See the difference? We're speaking in outcomes. My client and friend, Michelle Cedarberg loved it when we talked about scraping the speaker off of her website and elevating her to an expert. And the results of positioning as an expert versus a speaker, higher fees, improve market perception. Whenever you're questioning, am I doing this right? Just ask yourself, would a best-selling business author like Dan Pink put this on his website? If the answer is no, then let it go. Okay. So we've talked about picking a lane and we've talked about positioning. So what's next? I think creating a great promise statement is an absolute key to your marketing working. Without it, a prospect coming to your website will not know how you can help them. And our goal is for them to get it, really get it within 10 seconds. That example I gave you earlier from our team building expert, Pat Smith, their promise statement was, creating rock solid teams through collaborative communication. Another example might be turning managers into leaders. Very simple, but it says what you need it to say. Here are three keys to developing a strong promise. It's focused on them. You make it outcome oriented. Let it be short and sweet, maybe five to seven words. Oh, and here's a bonus. Tells what you do and maybe even who you do it for. For example, if you were an expert in dentistry, it might say helping dental practices create customer loyalty or something like that. So let's recap. Number one, we want to pick a lane around our topic. Number two, we want to position as an expert. Number three, we want to develop a strong promise so that people will know very quickly how we are going to help solve their problem. And I'm going to give you a piece of homework and that's to pick one of those to work on. But one thing at a time, but by doing all of these, guess what? You're gonna look great in the marketplace. You're gonna rise up above the rest, and guess what else? You're gonna get paid higher fees. Need I say more? I'm Jane Atkinson, and I'll see you soon, wealthy speakers.